Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be going over the Snap 2 tool released in Blender 2.47 and the Simple to Form modifier released in Blender 2.48 which is the current version and if you haven't already please upgrade. Uh, before we get started I just wanted to show you Nistic 2.0 kind of redesigned uh, the old Nistic site a uh, new interface, we have a little uh, techie blog uh, here that's coming up. Um, then we have a apps and DVD section. Um, if you want to reserve a copy of the DVD, click that link. Uh, it kind of sends me a message and I can put you on a list uh, to be notified when the DVD is ready. And then we have our lovely Blender 3D category over here has all the tutorials, including some that haven't been released yet, or some that some that I just skipped over. And so you can play the tutorials, all the tutorials, and double the quality of YouTube. You can download the video or the blend file and uh, included files. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we have our default cube sitting here. Don't need that today. X, or erase selected objects. Uh, spacebar add mesh plane. I'm just going to use a plane today, and we're going to go into front view. So, shift D, duplicate, and rotate it with R, Z for wireframe mode, so we can see it when it's uh, kind of in the cross view mode. You can't uh, see it in normal mode, so if you get a wireframe mode, you can kind of see that little line there for that plane. So, with the new Snap 2 modifier, you can do things a lot easier. Let's say if you were working with a project and you had two planes, just an example, and you wanted to kind of line them up. Uh, you hit the G key, whoops. You hit the G key and you try to like line them up there and uh, not working, not working. Well, that's fixed with uh, Blender 2.47, or basically you can just come in here go into edit mode then click this little magnet thing see that little magnet then thing right there click that uh, click line rotation for this we want to do edge because you can see the edges there We're trying to align those two things so when we want to align edges you just select the edges from that little box right there and closest option should be good enough Okay. So when we want to align these, we just use our G key to grab it, and then hit the uh, control button while uh, we're grabbing here. And see how it just kind of snaps it right to and aligns it to that other uh, plane. And now it's perfect. You can see right in there. So you can just easily snap uh, planes and uh, objects to each other using the snap to modifier so that adds a little bit of efficiency uh, the, ne the next quick thing I want to show you is uh, the simple deform modifier so let's just go ahead and hit control X erase all get rid of all that and we want to go back into front view seems good enough and click add modifier down here in the bottom right. Now you see where it says simple to form? Click that. So from here, it allows us to uh, apply some deformity, uh, I don't know what to call it, methods to our objects. So for example, we have our cube. As, as you can see, it's a little messed up now. Uh, with a simple deform modifier, you can add a stretch, a taper, a blend, or a twist to any uh, object that has this modifier. And so you can play around with uh, the little options down here, the factor, the upper limit, the lower lip limit. But as you can see, um, our cube is really not a cube anymore. It's more a, a twisted cube because we have twist selected. So we can increase the factor by a bunch. And you can see it really gets messed up. 
uh, you can increase the upper or decrease the the upper limit, increase the lower limit, and it just changes around. You just can play with it, and you can get different types of twists uh, in your objects. Um, we can try something like the blend uh, that does other things. We'll just play around with the options, and then it just gets really weird. Uh, taper, kind of just tapers one end here. See at the bottom uh, portion of the cube has been tapered off. And then you have the stretch, which makes this cube just huge. Um, and we can decrease some of these options and get them the way we want. So, I mean, this modifier is just a uh, quick little the form modifier that allows you to just kind of uh, mess around with your objects. You can have a little fun with it. Or if you wanted to you know, twist something up and no make uh, some kind of... Uh, style with a twisted cube here. Let me show you what I mean. Front view. Uh, form modifier. Crease that. Make a little twisted cube here. Then maybe we could add another modifier. Maybe like uh, an array, maybe. Here it is down here. And we can. Increase the count, so there's a bunch of them. And instead of the offset being on the x-axis, we can have it on the z-axis. And so now you have kind of a form tower of cubes, uh, wherever you want to call that. So I mean, you can just have fun with um, the simple to form modifier, and um, have fun with the snap too. It's just uh, Added efficiency with the Snap 2 modifier and uh, the, or tool, excuse me, and the simple to form uh, modifiers is something you can play around with to get interesting results. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, just a simple little tutorial to show you those two new features uh, in the two new Blender versions. And so if you haven't subscribed already, please do because I'm planning on doing a tutorial. Uh, every week for the month of December in 2008. So go ahead, if you're on YouTube, and hit that orange, uh, whatever color you want to call it, uh, subscribe button. So that's it for this tutorial, and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. I'm going to do three more tutorials, um, get to 30 tutorials, and then we're going to do a game, which is going to be an RPG. Um, so we'll play around with the Blender game engine, and we'll have tons of fun with that. Anyways, this is Super 3 Boy signing off, and have fun with these new things I just showed you.